All right, so this is gonna be a video about how to quickly and easily repair um, your old non-working robotics motors. So if you're like me, this was one of your favorite toys back in the 80s, and uh, maybe you've bought some on eBay, or maybe you've taken years out of the, the, the attic and discovered that when you plug in your motors, uh, they've stopped working. And this has happened on basically all of the motors I've encountered at this point. And luckily, there's a very quick and easy way to fix them. Each motor will only take you about a minute to repair, um, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So the first thing you want to do is there are two sides of the motor that uh, have sort of screws on them. You want the side that doesn't have the actual uh, driving sort of attachment on it. You want the other side. And so get you a screwdriver and open it up. I'm going to try and do all this on the camera here, but obviously it's awkward trying to work on anything with a camera in the way, but we'll see how we do here. Obviously these uh, screws are just threaded straight into plastic, and the plastic on these has gotten a little brittle uh, throughout the, the years here, so you'll want to pay uh, attention when you put those back in to not over tighten them. Um, just, you know, just barely tight. They're not going to come out. Um, and if they do, it's easy to screw them back in. Much better than stripping or cracking the plastic. Alright, so you just pop this off, and on the inside here, get my camera to focus, you can see uh, we got the motor here, and we got the driving gear. Now this little driving gear is on a shaft, and if you pull the shaft out, um, you'll have to open up the other side <laughs> to, uh, to put the shaft back in, make sure to realign that gear on the other side. So don't pull the shaft out. Luckily, you don't need to. All you got to do. Now, I wanted to show you. I should have done this in the beginning. This motor is non-working. So you can see how that ought to be turning there. Um, but they all have the same problem. Um, I've done a bunch of these. What's happened is, is the, uh, the brushes have corroded. And so there's a place where the brushes contact the, uh, I don't know what you call that, the, the stator or something like that. And they always, uh, without fail, have corroded. So keeping your, uh, keeping your fingers sort of on that shaft, uh, get a little bit of contact cleaner. This is the kind I recommend because this also has, um, it cleans contacts but also has a little bit of lubricant in it. So you're not just leaving the whole thing stripped of lubricant there. And just a little spray right there. You can kind of see where I'm doing it, right there. And that's it. Now, it may not work immediately when you plug it in. We're going to turn it on here and then kind of start turning that. Oh, there it goes. All right, so you turn that until it starts going. And then, sorry, my camera doesn't focus that good. Let it roll. Now, remember to keep your thumb on that little shaft there, or else it'll fly out and you'll have to open the other side. We kind of go backwards and forwards here. And what's happening there is it's just cleaning off those contact points. And then, super easy, just put that right back together. Put your screws back in. There you go. Now you're back in business. Hours of fun for you and probably your kids at this point. Love that nostalgic noise, that crunching noise. I <laughs> uh, love these things. Anyway, there you go. How to repair robotics motors quick and easy.